Hi and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to update your motherboard with your Gigabyte BIOS. And it's very easy uh, with some few steps. First you're going to do is to visit gigabyte.eu and download the correct BIOS for your motherboard. Uh, to do so you need to enter gigabyte.eu and on the right side you can see a search box where you can enter the model number of your motherboard and in some cases you can also see there's different kind of revisions on this one so please make sure you download the correct one uh, you can read which revision you have on the label on the box that came with the motherboard or on the bottom left corner of your motherboard itself uh, next thing you're gonna need is a USB stick as well to place this BIOS file on so save it on your desktop for instance, which I've done already. Uh, I have it located right here. And uh, also I've inserted a USB stick to a USB port on the motherboard. Recommended also is to connect it to a USB 2 port to ensure the compatibility here. So connect your USB stick to USB 2 port and open up File Explorer on your computer. Uh, next thing we need to do is to format the USB to FAT32. So right click on the USB stick and select format. Uh, make sure FAT32 is selected and also take in the box quick format and press format. When the format is done uh, we just simply enter the USB stick and we copy the file that we save to the desktop from gigabyte.eu homepage and we basically can just drag and drop it to the USB to make it easy and when it's located on the USB stick just double click on the exe file and it will self extract itself to the root of the USB stick which is also recommended If your file doesn't automatically update, you can just simply press F5 to update the view. And uh, in some cases, if you also see the hidden files, you will see an auto exit dot bat file here. Uh, just ignore that. And also you can ignore the if you flash file. The only thing which is necessary at this point is the BIOS, office, BIOS file itself. Um, you can see at the end of the file, you see dot and the number number of the file itself uh, it's a revision number of the BIOS itself in this case I have F3K um, just leave the files as they are on the USB and leave the USB stick inserted to your motherboard you close the window what we're gonna do now basically is to reboot your machine and during the post boot Press down end button on your keyboard to access the BIOS update utility. So just enter your start menu and restart and be prepared to press down end button. When you press down the end button, you can see the Gigabyte UFE Dual BIOS. QFlash Utility version 1.05 in, in this case. You can see the model number of the motherboard and the current version of BIOS installed and also the date the BIOS was released. This is not the date the BIOS was installed on your system, it's the BIOS version release date. And also you can see three menu options. You can update the BIOS, you can also save the BIOS or exit. In this case we're going to update the system, so you navigate in this menu by the arrow keys on the keyboard, navigate to update the BIOS and press enter. Uh, next window that appears is the connected devices to your system. In this case we're going to have the USB stick. If you have several units here you can just navigate here and also, as before uh, navigate to USB stick and press enter. The third window that appears contains the files uh, that we moved to the USB stick since we were browsing it. 
Uh, you can see the original file here, uh, the exe file. Also the altexit bat file that I didn't see in Windows. You can see the bias file and ify flash.exe. Uh, what you should do now is compare the file name, bias file name, with a model, motherboard's model number located on the top. You can see it says F2A85XUP4 and this file name is 2885XUP4.F3K. Um, you can see that the F is missing. This is because it's already done for eight digits. This is the reason for if you're going to update the bias in a different way, which we're not going to show in right here, but in that case it's necessary that it's with only eight dig digits. Uh, but in this case it doesn't really matter. Uh, it's the same file for right BIOS, for right version of the motherboard. So we just going to navigate to the file and press enter. The system's going to verify the file that is correct. And also another time we can see the model number of the motherboard, which version of the BIOS you're going to update. Also date and a checksum. You will have a question here saying if you want to update or not. If this uh, some, if something is showing an error here, you should abort the installation, double check the file you downloaded and retry. Uh, in this case we're going to press yes and uh, just follow the instructions on the screen. And when you reach this point, your BIOS update is complete. On some systems, you will not see this window. It will automatically show me a window telling you that the system will reboot in three seconds. And in my case, I can see that I have an option to either power off or reboot my system. Uh, in all cases, it's always recommended to reboot your system after an system update and uh, this also because you want to enter the bias to see that the settings are as they should so please here if you doesn't your system doesn't reboot by automatically um, select reboot press down delete button during the post boot and enter the bias so in this case i'm selecting reboot and pressing delete during the post boot If you have a 3D BIOS, you can skip this window by pressing down escape button. And you can now see that the BIOS version is F3K and it should match your version yet that you installed. Um, also, what you should do now is enter purples and see that your on ship SOTA type is correctly set. If you installed your system with AHCI, and uh, you update the BIOS, some cases it will reset down to IDE mode. If this happens, you will not be able to boot up your Windows system, so please ensure that this setting is correct. So you can see here, you can select either AHCI, RAID or IDE mode. I'm going to leave it as it is, since this system is installed like this. Um, please go to save and exit, select save and exit and press enter and let your system boot up. Thank you for watching.